Hello, welcome back and congratulations for making it this far. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change these front page boxes right here, also known as widgets. So I'm going to show you how to put in text here, uh, change this headline right here, and I'm going to show you how to put in some images and icons, and I'm going to show you where to get icons and images. So the first things first, let's learn how and where we change these. So we log into our dashboard. And for now, I'm just going to open up another tab that shows the website so I can show you the changes. All right. So we log into our dashboard and then we go to appearance and widgets. All right. And we can see that we have home widget one, home widget two, and home widget three. That corresponds with home widget one, home widget two, and home widget three. All right, so how do we get information in there actually? So what we do is we click on this button right here and it expands it. Now we can drop any of these boxes into this area. So let's just do a text box and title we'll do uh, hello and we'll say hi there what's up dude and we'll click save so now let's see what that did so that was in home widget one so you expand this and you can make it go back down by clicking this button so that's home widget one you can add a whole bunch more in there if you want uh, but let's see what that did so we go over here and we click refresh and we see that it was changed. It says hello as the title and it says hi there. What's up, dude? So we can see if we expand this hello in the title. Hi there. What's up, dude? So uh, that's pretty cool. But what about graphics and uh, formatting the text and making things bold or green or, you know, centering things or uh, aligning it to the right and putting images in here. How do we do that? There's no uh, boxes to click on the images or anything like that. So by default, WordPress doesn't even allow you to do that. So we actually need to download a plugin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click this right here and I'm going to say delete. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plugins and go to add new because we need a plugin that allows us to put in all these graphics and things like that into this widget area. So we'll go to plugins and we'll click add new. Now I just want you to search for black, B L A C K, black, and search plugins. The first plugin is probably going to be Black Studio Tiny MCE widget, and that's the one that you want. So just click install now install now then click OK and activate plugin so as you can see nothing changed here nothing really happened but if we go back to appearance then widgets we see this new box here black studio tiny MCE so if we go to our home widget and let me resize this box here if we go to our uh, home widget one right here, we click on this and we expand it. We can actually drag the Black Studio Tiny MCE into it. And now we get all those cool uh, looking buttons and formats and we can actually insert images here. So this one is going to be called build a website, build a website. All right, and uh, we'll just put learn how to build a website step by step with no step skipped. You will be amazed. All right, <clears throat> and we can save that. And uh, but we haven't really done anything here. You know, we could have done this with a regular text. So let's insert an image. Actually, let's insert an icon. So where do we actually get an icon from? Well, we could go to a website called 
www.dryicons.com and click on free icons. So we'll just scroll down and we can search for different icons here and these are all free icons and we can just pick one that we want. Let's say I like this handy icon set. All right, so we click on it, we view and download, and we click on the PNG image. Because a PNG, what that allows you to do, it allows you to have any color background, and uh, it, the background of the image will actually take on whatever background you put it on. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, for instance, if this uh, printer was on a green background, this in here would be green and this would be green and all of it will be green. So anyways, let's just click on PNG and it's going to download for us. Okay, so let me drag that to my desktop and what I'm going to do is just double click so it opens and unzips and there we have it, our icon set. And we can see we have all the icons in here. So what we just did there is we just downloaded some icons. All right, let's get that into our website. So let's click back onto our website. We can close this now. And what would be a good icon for build a website? Well, let's click on, make sure it's uh, your cursor is before the L and click on this upload insert button right here, the add media button. All right, we'll select files and we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna see the icon, find the folder where it is. This works on a Mac and a PC, so either way it will work. Find the folder, it's a PNG file. And uh, 16 by 16, that's the width by the height so that's the size of it. And 16 by 16 is very small. It's like, you know, pretty small. 128 by 128, it's pretty big. You know, it's too big for the area. I think if I had to guess, it would be 48 by 48 would be the correct size. So we're just gonna click on that. And we're gonna find something that uh, would be good for build a website. And build, I think of house, so that works with me. We're gonna click open. So what do you want to happen when someone clicks on the button? I don't want anything to happen. So the link URL, it's not gonna do anything. But if you put google.com in here and you clicked on it, it would go to google.com. So we're just gonna put none. Make sure left is uh, uh, selected and make sure it's full size. Then click insert into post. All right, then click save changes. So we'll see what that looks like. Now we're gonna refresh our page and we're gonna see we have build a website here and we have the house and it says learn how to build a website step by step with no steps skip you will be you'll be amazing I meant you will be amazed so I could say you will be amazed and I could put one less space in here so if we refresh then it will be right you will be amazed all right, so what happens if I wanted to link to a page? Well, we can say build a website and we could just click the link button and we can type in my website, www.knutent.org and click add link and now it's a link. So if we save that and refresh, we can see that build a website's now a link to knutent.org. And when you do links like this, just as a side note, it helps in uh, the search engine rankings because this is like a vote for your website. So whatever website uh, this link is to, it's like a vote saying this website's good and that helps you uh, rank higher in the search engines for this term, for the build a website term. And that's a, a huge part of uh, search engine optimization. Just as a side note, that you want, might want to know that. Um, yeah, so if uh, you have a website and you want to include my link in there for build a website or create a website or make a website, that would be awesome. All right, enough trying to push that. So 
let's keep on doing this. Let's add another uh, Black Studio Tiny MCUE to Home Widget 2. So let's just expand this, scroll up, click on Black, click and hold and drag it down. So we're dragging it right into here. And this next one will be connect with me. All right, and I'm just gonna put my cursor here in this box. I'm gonna upload this image, click add media, select files, and find something that would be good with connect. I think of the heart, isn't that sweet? Okay, open it, and uh, it's not gonna link to anywhere, so I'm gonna put none, and I'm gonna insert into post. And I'm gonna put you can connect with me uh, on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Or you can just call me. And I'm going to press save. So once I do that, I can minimize this and go to my website and click refresh. So I have uh, build a website and I have connect with me. So I could obviously make links in here, make it different colors, different things like that. All right, so home widget three, and you may be getting tired of me doing this. You may say, I get it already, Tyler, stop this, but I'm not going to. All right, so we'll scroll down and we'll go into home widget three, this Black Studio Tiny MCE. And this one is going to be watch. And I'm just gonna say, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Learn how to start a business online. All right, obviously yours is gonna be better. I'm just making up things. So maybe enjoy the show you want to be bold or something crazy like that. All right, then put your cursor where you want the image to go. So there and click on the upload insert image and select files and find something that is like watch, 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 watch. A TV is good. Find it, click open and click none because it's not linking anywhere and insert into post. All right, let's see if that works. We can click save and let's click refresh. All right, so now we have build a website, connect with me and watch. So this has a link, it's pretty cool. That is how you set up uh, your front boxes with a responsive theme and that's how you make it look pretty cool. So if you wanna learn more, uh, please make sure to go to knuton.org, that's C-O-N-U-T-A-N-T.O-R-G and please remember to comment, please rate, and please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.